I'm Adventure Man, Ron Spellman. Thanks for joining me as I fill my everyday life full of adventure and show you how to do it too. And I especially mean that in today's episode. It's exactly what we're going to do. Because you know, many of our favorite adventure stories like Indiana Jones or The Da Vinci Code or National Treasure, they take place in exotic locations and far-flung cities that many of us will never get to see in our everyday lives. But the one thing that the best adventure stories have in common is a basis in history. At their foundation are real facts and past events. And that's good news for us because history is all around us. With just a little bit of effort, we can find real historical adventure right in our own backyard. Today I'm in Hartford, Connecticut, looking for the clues of a disaster that happened more than 80 years ago. And what better place to start digging through Hartford history than here at the former Masonic Temple. It's an often overlooked landmark, tucked away on Anucello Street, right behind the great big modern XL Convention Center. Now Hartford is an old city as far as American cities go. It was founded in 1635. The first settlement in Connecticut was only 1633. That makes this a pretty old city by American standards. Today I'm looking for clues to a disaster that almost destroyed the entire city of Hartford in the 1930s when the Connecticut River flooded its banks and filled the city streets. Our search starts here at the Polish National Home where we're gonna find our first clue. So on the wall right behind me is a clue so tiny you would miss it if you didn't know it was there. And it's the first part of our story. Many homes and businesses had markers just like this on the front of the building to show how high the flood waters reached. As you can see, it's March 1936, only six years after the building was constructed. This is how high the water reached. That was a terrible flood. You know, one of the most frustrating things about an adventure in the city is driving around. I get lost all the time. Google Maps is great, but man, <laughs> you take one wrong turn and you are going all around the city. Well, that's the price you pay for a good adventure. Park River used to run right past the foot of the Capitol, as you can see over my shoulder, and right across the edge of downtown. So when it flooded, time and again in the 20s and 30s, it was deemed too dangerous to not do something about it. In 1940, construction began to cover over the entire river and turn it into a drain conduit running under the city. Construction was completed in 1944 and expanded later in the 50s, 60s, and even early as the early 70s. It's kind of hard to believe that this modern street right here used to be a river. Now to find the entrance to the river, I'm going off the work of a recent adventurer named Matthew Petroff who wrote a blog with a very interesting description of his journey down the Park River. I intend to do so also in a future adventure. Today, we're gonna to find the mouth of that river to plan for next time. Currently, the river runs right by its more modern recreation center in Pope Park, right outside of the downtown of Hartford. Well, the river's right over there, but I don't see a way to get in there. Maybe I spoke too soon. All right. So we just merge into this clearing here. I think the river's right over there. I see a fence. Pretty sure it's fenced off. Let's go take a look.
This is pretty steep. This is pretty cool. I don't know if you can tell on the video, the water doesn't look too deep. Looks like it's got at least six, maybe eight inches. I think we found it. This is dramatic as hell. This is awesome. Oh, I can't wait to go down there. So this is the current entrance to the Park River. Because it would flood year after year, it damaged the city so much, the Hartford Flood Commission covered it over, as you can see, and now it keeps the water safely in check. stop Charter Oak Landing where the Park River runs into the Connecticut You've arrived. here we are at the last stop this is Charter Oak Landing where the Park River should be flowing right into the Connecticut so let's go see if we can find the actual mouth of the river so it turns out Charter Oak Landing this beautiful little riverfront park right here an amazing view of the city and the Connecticut River running right by it. Here we go again. Another urban wilderness trail. And this time it's raining. Going right behind the city's power plant. That is really, really freaking cool. I don't think I'm going to find it on foot. I guess we're just going to have to come out of it and hope for the best. But, uh... We found a lot of hidden things today here in Hartford, Connecticut. So thanks again for coming with me. And remember, you can find things like this right in your own hometown, in your own backyard. Whether you're out west, midwest, north, south, or here on the east coast. It's all here. History is all around us. An adventure that comes along with it. So thanks again for watching. You can find all my videos by searching Adventure Man USA on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram as Adventure Man USA and Facebook as at Adventure Man USA. Thanks again, YouTube. I'm Adventure Man, Ron Spellman. So long for now.